Hey what's up guys, welcome to this video where we will be compiling 5 of the best bargain one to watch cards that you have to go out and buy. Now as always with these style of videos, you guys play a massive role, you've been fantastic with previous videos of this nature, giving me some great suggestions for informed players, special cards or just great players that are absolutely dirt cheap to use and that helps me out for future videos but it also helps you guys out watching. So if you are watching this, drop down into the comments below leave some suggestions for good one to watch cards that you've been using that you think are a good pickup but also you might find some other good suggestions that even I haven't thought of so definitely check out the comments below and see what's going on as I will be doing for future videos but we're gonna kick off uh, with our first player in this lineup and it is gonna be one to watch Theo Walcott who on his first sort of test uh, for Everton did absolutely incredible and ended up with an inform one to watch card straight off the bat. This was never at its uh, its original state. It was at this 83 rating straight off the bat. So you are buying an already inform player. It is a fantastic card as is. Great goals, great pace, lovely dribbling, but it can only get better. He is likely to score more goals for Everton. They're a decent team in the Premier League. They will definitely score goals and this man will definitely get a fair few. So it's likely that he will get more informs. I reckon at least one more. And that means he'll probably go up to an 84, 85. I think mean, probably an 85. And that would just be a fantastic card because this one is already insane. Scored me some great goals. We'll have a look at the attribute details now. And as you can see, the pace is obviously ridiculous. Very, very good. His shooting is insane as well. Great attack position in the 88. His finishing at 85, absolutely ridiculous. And shot power also very, very good. So he can score a great range of goals. His long shots aren't fantastic, but you don't need them because he's that quick. He's got insane dribbling. As you can see, that dribbling column is just ridiculous. Great agility and balance. His reactions and ball controls are on point. And his dribbling and composure is also really, really nice. This card overall, for around sort of 50 to 60k, I think is an absolute bargain because it's a one to watch card. He's already in form and he's only going to get better. So definitely worth going out and picking this guy up. Now, next up, we'll have a, an interesting one, to be honest. Um, sort of flown under the radar, this move. But this guy I absolutely love. And I'm going to leave it on this screen for a little bit. Because while, yes, if you buy this card, the one to watch, Lacadia, now he's moved to Brighton. He is a 76 rating. So people are looking at this card thinking, well, I don't want to spend 20, 30k on this guy. But if you add that card in the Premier League, wow. Because let me tell you, I've used this card plenty of times. And I'll show you the goals from this version of the card. And it is ridiculous. What you are banking on by buying the one to watch card is that he progresses into this 81 card and above, obviously. Because the great thing with buying this 76 rated card, the one to watch version, is that if he does get another inform, which he probably will, he's a very good striker, uh, and I'm sure Brighton will call upon him before long, then he will have probably an 83 rated card that has better stats than that. And he already has incredible shooting, really good strength, decent pace it would be like uh, an 85 batch why it would feel like that sort of style and in the Premier League for dirt cheap because you've played the card early and you've gone out and bought his 76 rated one to watch you can instantly go from a 76 to probably an 83 for very very cheap in the Premier League good nation incredible stats this one is definitely one that will pay off in the long run I am sure so we're gonna put him in Nothing really to brag about at the moment because he doesn't have it already, but there is that potential for him to be absolutely insane. Now we're going to go to another player who doesn't have uh, a card already, um, so it is just at his base level. But Musa, who we all love, he is an absolute sweater's dream. So much pace, 93 pace, that probably won't really improve. But what will improve is his shooting and his dribbling if he does get one. Which, let me tell you, is already pretty special. He is a solid card to use. Yes, he's not in the Premier League anymore. But as a sweaty substitute player to bring on, 
really, really effective. And also, there's actually a few decent players in that Russian league that you can put around him and that you can build a really, really good squad. So it's not out of the question that you could just use him in that sort of style. There's also some good Nigerian players that you could play around him, especially maybe if you've got one of the, uh, the Akotcha sort of icon cards, then definitely uh, a good one to use there. But Musa is a great player. He is bound, bound to get an inform in his time with CSK in Moscow. I am absolutely sure of it. And once he does, he'll probably be rated around 80. I think he'll be getting quite a big jump and he'll be an incredible card. So well worth going out and trying. We're going to have a look at our uh, next card now. And we're going to put in probably one of the more higher... Um, well, he is the highest... Uh, cost in this, but I still think he's an absolute bargain. Batshuayi, yes he's moved from the Premier League which is the most popular league in FIFA Ultimate Team, but he's gone to a really solid league, the Bundesliga, tons of great options, he's a fantastic card to use. The shooting that this guy has is absolutely off the chain, he can score from anywhere, great movement, great shooting obviously he's already got those inform cards this is his second inform technically so he's well on the way uh, to being an absolutely fantastic player you're buying basically a, a chance for this card to progress even further with a third or maybe fourth inform which is definitely possible but what you've got instantly this is a guarantee straight off the bat is one insane card even if he doesn't get another inform which would be a shame and uh, would be surprising You've still got a really good card, 85 rated overall, good pace, really solid dribbling, good physicality and incredible shooting. As we'll see now in the attribute details, you know, his sprint speed is decent, acceleration could be a little bit higher but it's not too bad overall, he'll definitely go past people. But where he really excels is that shooting column. Attack positioning, finishing and shot power all at 92 is absolutely insane. So, so good in those areas. But his long shots and volleys are also really tidy. His dribbling, that whole column is really nice and tidy. While it's rated 84 overall, if you look, most of those stats are higher than 84. So he actually feels much better with the ball at his feet. He's also quite good in the air, great strength as well. He is a really solid card to use. And while he does cost a lot more than the other players in this option. I still think he's a bargain for what you've got already and what you can probably get when he does get another inform, which I think is likely. With the team that he's playing in, they will create chances for him and he will score goals and he is likely to get another inform before FIFA is out. So we're going to go to our final player now and, uh, and we're going to go for um, Gerard Delefeu. Probably unlucky not to get a card already, if I'm being honest. There was definite shouts for him after the impressive display he put in against Chelsea. In his debut for Watford, he really could have got a card, and it was really unlucky not to. But let's look at his card from the basis of what it is now, and it's decent. Great pace, really solid dribbling. Those areas do not really need much improvement great if they do but it doesn't matter where he does need the improvement and i'll be honest is the shooting he's not the most clinical in the world but he's good you can use his card straight off the bat with little to no issues but when he does get any inform which i think he really will very very soon because he's in a good team that will create chances for him and he will definitely be involved whether it's getting assists or scoring them himself then once that shooting stat gets upgraded, which it is likely to, you will have a really, really good solid left winger, left forward, wherever you want to play him that will score goals and be very, very fun to use with the fact that he does have such incredible pace and dribbling. So that was my top five, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, a look at these players. I think they're all fantastic as they are, but a lot of them will get more informs along the way. They'll progress and they'll be well worth picking up. If you do have any suggestions, leave those in the comments below. Let me know where you guys are watching from because I love hearing that. And also, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the hell out of that like button because that will really help me out. And also, the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And peace!